Hello again, I'm Drew Green and uh, I am here today with a tutorial about how to make a simple star field using the brushes that I'm selling on my Gumroad store. Uh, you can find me at drew-green.tumblr.com, um, at King of Safari on Twitter, and you can find my brushes at gumroad.com slash drewgreen, as you see on the screen. Uh, the tutorial today takes place in Adobe Photoshop CS6 and I am illustrating on a Wacom Cintiq 21UX tablet display. Um, it's a little bit of an older model, but I love it. Um, so to start out making a star field, you want to pick a nice dark cool color. Um, I usually don't start with black, but some people I think probably do and I think you probably could. Um, I like to use uh, a nice blue though, just really dark, almost black. Um, actually, we're going to go a little darker than that. Okay. Now you want to use the uh, the airbrush. Um, any soft round brush will do that you probably have on your own, but if you're using my brush set, it's the airbrush. Um, and you want to just go a little lighter kind of an intense blue. I'm not really worried about printing this, so I'm just going to go crazy with the colors. Um, I'm just going to name that layer Blur, because I can't think of a better name for it. Uh, ooh, too big. There we go. Okay. And you just want to lightly, uh, well, maybe a little bigger than that. Ooh. Okay, sure. Just want to lightly brush in some areas of this sort of slightly lighter blue color here, and I may, I may end up lessening that just a bit. Uh, I'm going to change the opacity with uh, the the number keys on the keyboard. Um, change it to 80 by pressing 8. Um, if you wanted to change it to 50, you would press 5. So, um, you know, that makes sense. Um, all right, I'm going to change it to 70, actually. Okay, make another, uh, another layer above that. Um, let's just call it, uh, I don't know, clusters. Um, and for this, I'm going to use my, um, let's see, let's use just the, the gouache brush. Um, and we've already got it a slightly lighter blue. I'm going to lower the flow of that brush to about 50 and just brush them in sort of this erratic shape here. Um, just a little bit over here as well. Um, Lighten your color up more. I like to go a little bluer when I first do that. And just brush it in slightly more. Uh, and then do it again. Now I'm going to go a little more purple. Make my brush a bit smaller. And just kind of splotch it in in a few certain parts. Once more, get it nice and light and really intense. Something a bit more of a, yeah, a bit more of a bluish green. It's a little much. Just a few little speckles of that in there. Okay, now I make a new layer. I'm going to call that Stars One. Let me make sure that wasn't. Uh, and uh, I'm going to use my gouache brush still and I'm going to make it very large and I'm going to lower the um, lower the flow down to uh, let's go down to two actually let's do two and I'm going to use I'm going to darken my color just a bit just a somewhat dark, really intense blue, and you're going to lightly brush over your image. Just 
very lightly. And again, this is still the gouache brush. It's just being used at a very large size. Um, and it'll give all these tiny speckles. Okay. I like to I like to make a few areas a little more a little more dense with stars. Okay, just to make it look irregular and a little more natural. Um, okay, now I'm going to make another layer. I'm going to call it Stars 2. And for this layer, you're going to um, you're going to bring your flow back to 100, so your brush is really solid. And I like to use my pressure sensitive ink pen. Um, it's not one I use very often for most stuff, but um, it's really handy for this. Um, let's see, let's lighten our color up to sort of a lighter, more intense blue, not too light. I like my stars to be blue. Okay, and just at varying degrees of pressure, you just want to kind of dot in some of your, some of your stars. Um, I like to have a few that are really big so that they're really noticeable, almost like a constellation. Maybe like their planets really far away or something. Okay. And what I do like to do sometimes, I'm going to do it this time, is I'm going to lower the size of the brush and do the same thing, just so I can get some more little ones in there. Tap, tap, tap. Just lots of them, because it's a star field. Don't want to be stingy. I'm going to make a... Actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my color to a sort of pink, pinkish red color, and bring my brush size back up just a little bit and add a few sort of accent pink stars, just to make it a little more interesting. a new layer called stars 3 and I may not keep this one because it doesn't always look good but um, I'm going to select the color of my regular my stars 2 layer just the regular blue and have a fairly thin brush it's seven pixels right now and just uh, put in a few of these kind of burst stars I guess you'd call them usually try to keep most of them within the sort of star fields. I like to add a few elsewhere though, just for variety's sake. Finally, this is another thing that doesn't always look good, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, make a new layer called Stars 4, and I've actually made a shape for this, um, a custom shape, um, but you could make it into a, a brush or, um, or any shape you want, or you could just draw them in, but I have these sort of fun starburst kind of shaped things and sometimes if it doesn't look stupid I like to add a few in to 
to make them the brightest thing in the image. So lighten that up, not all the way to white, but just a light blue. All right. And let's see. There we go. And I'm going to try something here. Um, select your whole canvas by pressing Control A or Command A if you're on a Mac. Um, go to Edit, Copy, Merged, and then just press Control or Command V to paste. Um, go to Filter, Blur, uh, I guess it's called Gaussian Blur, Gaussian Blur. Um, just, you know, make it fairly blurry. I'm just trying this, I don't know if it's going to look any good. Um, Set that new layer to overlay, and then let's do 30%. Yeah, well, I don't know. It doesn't make that much of a difference, but whatever. Um, yeah, well, anyway, there you have it. That's how I, uh, how I make a simple star field. It's good for a, a comic page or, or a background. Um, and uh, yeah, that's how I do it. So, uh, again, you can find my brushes at uh, gumroad.com slash drewgreen. You can find me at drew-green.tumblr.com. And you can find me on Twitter at King of Safari. Um, thank you for watching.